What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. If you've been here before, thanks for tuning in to yet another video. And if you're new here, please get down there and hit subscribe. And while you're down there, hit the little bell icon so you get notified every time we post a new video. So we have a very rare part here in the garage today. We have this Shrik intake manifold here for BMW. These things are supposed to replace the OEM plastic intake manifolds. They are supposed to give you a pretty good amount of torque gain as well, or at least that's what I've heard people say. But yeah, these things have been discontinued for a while now, and I've seen them go for sale for like around a thousand dollars. So it's a pretty hefty price tag for just an intake manifold. This one happens to be Emily's brother, Raul. You guys will probably see him on the channel in the near future. We are going to be swapping the motor on a boat that we got and taking it for a cruise when the weather clears up and it gets a little warmer. So expect to see that in the future. But the project at hand today is we are going to be restoring this thing. We are going to try to clean everything up and powder coat it. Let me show you guys a sample. We're going to be powder coating this thing in this desert red wrinkle powder coat. So it's gonna look just like that. And it's gonna be going on the engine that he's gonna be swapping into his E30. We may or may not be featuring that car on the channel here soon too. So yeah, we're gonna be sandblasting this thing, cleaning it up inside and out, and we are going to be spraying it with some wrinkle red powder. So first on the to-do list, we have to take this heat shielding off at the bottom and we have to remove these ports here on the bottom as well. Basically try to get the whole manifold, just the bare manifold. So I'm gonna be doing that. I also have to take this off and I also want to take all of these bolts off one by one and replace them with bolts that I can powder coat because I don't wanna powder coat these. I want to leave them with you know the raw finish and I don't wanna take it apart because the gasket I believe has been discontinued. It's no longer for sale. So we're gonna be doing that. I mean, worst comes to worst, we'll make a gasket for it. We'll seal it up nice but we're gonna try doing that first. All right, so I was looking for a replacement bolt. These are Allen head M6 by 1.0. I think, and I'm almost positive that I've seen these at either Home Depot or Lowe's. So I'm gonna run over to the store and see if I can find some, if I can. I'll just leave these on and put the new ones when I'm done powder coating it because they're gonna be fresh and these are gonna be obviously old. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash this thing, uh, try to get everything clean inside and out. Then I'll run to the store, see if I can find new bolts. Then we'll start powder coating, or actually, whoa, I'm getting ahead of myself. Then we'll start sandblasting. Then we have to clean it, and then we have to bake it for a little bit to get all the contaminants out. Then we have to powder coat. All right, so I've been fighting this thing to dry on me ever since I soaked it. It stays wet, but I think I finally got it. I've been spraying it with brake cleaner, blowing it with air, spraying it, blowing it. I think it's finally dry now. I was able to find some bolts. These are basically the same bolts that are in here, but they are black. I got these at Home Depot, but I think Lowe's has some zinc plated ones, so they'll look even better in here than either black or this old uh, aluminum. So I think I'm gonna go there tomorrow and get those. Right now I'm gonna throw this thing in the sand blaster, blast it down and get it prepped for tomorrow. All right, guys, well, here is the prepped product. So we got it all sandblasted. It came out really nice. The only thing I was noticing is 
all these black spots they're little imperfections in the actual finish of the intake manifold so i'm kind of glad that we are going with wrinkle because it'll cover all of that so i'm gonna call it a night we basically just have to wipe it down tomorrow bake it for a little bit to get all the oil contaminants out of the metal and then we're ready to shoot some powder on it so i will catch you guys in the morning all right guys new day let's jump right into it so first order of business i want to hit the bottom of this with the wire wheel so it can be nice bare metal down there as well basically every spot where all the gaskets will be so right here where the throttle body goes right there too and i want to go over it with the wire wheel right here on the badge just so this can be nice and shiny after that we'll wipe it down throw it in the oven get all the contaminants out and then we will be ready for powder All right guys, so I got this thing completely wiped down. I'm waiting for the oven to heat to 450 degrees. Then I'll throw it in there for like 20-ish minutes just to get all the contaminants out of the metals. And then we have to tape everything up that we don't want painted, put some plugs in some holes and we should be good to go. All right guys, I got it all taped up. Now let's shoot some powder. All right, so while the manifold is curing, I got the garage sort of kind of cleaned up. I also put these things in the wire wheel so they're nice and shiny. So I'm gonna put them in this polish real quick, get them even more shiny, make everything look nice and good because we're going above and beyond for this. All right guys, so here we have it. So wrinkle desert red. This tape, uh, not as good as I thought it would be, but I think it got the job done. Let's go ahead and take it off. Yeah, so it's not bad. It just, I guess, starts to come off after a while, but didn't let anything go through. So we are good. Bam. So, looks nice and clean. Still gotta get the plugs out and all these bolts, but it's still super hot, so I don't wanna do that just yet. All right, guys, well, this thing turned out super nice. I'm kinda mad that I have to give it back. But if you guys know me, you know I like going above and beyond and doing the most sometimes, so this bracket was looking kind of aged, so I scuffed it up. I'm gonna shoot a coat of primer on there and then hit it with this super nice uh, high gloss black. This thing comes out so thick, it almost looks like powder coat. And the reason I'm doing gloss black and not like a satin black or a matte black, I think, I think, a gloss black would make everything pop even more here because like I said, we're putting the nice shiny bolts. So a shiny bracket on the nice powder coated intake manifold I think would look very nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing painted and we'll be back tomorrow reassembling everything and it'll finally be all done. All right guys, so got the bracket here, nice and dry. Let's go ahead and put these new bolts that I got in here. Four here, four there. We can throw on the fitting that was right here and bolt this bracket up and then we should be good to go.
All right, guys, so as you can see, this thing is finally fully complete. We got the brand new bolts on all the corners. We got the painted bracket down here. Everything is nice and freshened up. I threw some clear here on the badge because this is kind of like the centerpiece of the whole thing. I got every single thread cleaned out, as you can see. So this thing is ready to just be thrown on. Fresh threads, fresh new bolts, refreshing bolts. So everything on this thing is either brand new or refreshing, so it's good to go. The only thing I'm not gonna throw back on is this heat shielding that it had right here because I don't know if he's gonna wanna run it again or not. I personally wouldn't unless I absolutely have to. I would find other ways to wrap whatever is underneath instead, instead of putting this thing on that, but whatever. We're gonna take it back. We'll see if he uses it. Can't wait to see this thing on the motor and on the car. Stay tuned for that. I will be showing you guys once he throws it on the motor and on the car. But that's gonna be it for this one. The lighting is horrible. But yeah, thanks for tuning into this one. I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. But that's gonna be it for this one. So make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel and click the little bell icon so you get notified every time I post a new video. And as always, keep moving forward and stay on the gas.